I feel like I should stop talking about GIMP 3, because whatever date they provide just gets pushed back again and again and again. And on February 10th, 2023, I made this video. GIMP 3 is coming in 2023, probably. This was about the 2022 annual report, which had this section. Plans for 2023 GIMP 3.0.0. I should not give dates, so don't take it as a promise. Maybe it's just a foolish dream by a foolish man. I'm currently planning GIMP 3.0.0 release in 2023, or at least our first release candidate. Here I said it, if it doesn't happen, remember that it was not a promise. Now it's a good thing that it was not a promise, because right now it is November 28th, and by the time you guys see this, it's probably going to be December. And the roadmap currently looks a little bit like this. So with the 2.10 stuff, all of that is pretty much good, with the exception of color management, which is happening in 3.x. Let's go down to the 3.x segment. Port to GTK3, done. Port away from int tool, done. Port to mess on build, done. Multi-layer selection, done. But there's still a couple of work in progress and nearly done left. Redesign API for scripts and plugins. Right now, plugins do exist in GIMP. But it's very much just throw it at the wall and see what sticks. This is going to be a consistent method of adding extensions, so hopefully something like an extension store can also be made. Wayland support. So because GIMP is moving from the GTK2 toolkit up to GTK3, it does get the advantage of making use of the GTK3 Wayland backend. That means there is going to be a native Wayland version of GIMP. However, you don't get that entirely for free when you're a project as complex as GIMP. There are going to be additional bugs that happen that need to be ironed out before it's, you know, actually going to be ready. But it is going to happen. Now, Space Invasion is a weird term for a really basic thing. This is what they're calling their reinvigoration of the color management and color support system. Adding things like CMYK support and trying to make GIMP actually a viable project for doing professional color work. Now, on the Wayland side, there are plenty of issues with doing that as well, so I'm sure these are kind of like partially connected. Less floating selections. So a floating selection, a good example of this, if we go and paste an image into GIMP, this is going to be made as a floating selection, and then we can convert it into a regular layer. This is just kind of an unnecessary step that really just wastes time. And this is a basic example of it. There is a ton of other places where this is used for seemingly no reason. I don't know why in the past it was done like this, but now they want to get rid of it. And finally, documentation. Make sure the documentation is up to date by release time. Now this is also gonna rely on the other things they want to include actually being done, so this is probably going to be making it up to kind of the last minute. This is a fairly higher level and shorthand list. For a full list of features being worked on, we can see this over on the GitLab milestone tracker. Right now, it is at 53% complete. So it's still, you know, a little bit away from being done. So maybe, just maybe, we shouldn't be doing this again. Final countdown to GIMP 3. When nearing the end, it's time to start organizing the various deadlines. A year ago in my annual report, I was hoping to release at least a first release candidate this year. It won't make it, but I was not so far off. The updated plan is to release a final development version next month, then a release candidate a few months later. I'm targeting the Libra Graphics Meeting 2024 event in May 2024 as our deadline for GIMP 3. The whole schedule is detailed in the release report linked above. These last few months were hard, and I can only assume the next months will be just as hard, if not harder. Yet, it's all so exciting. So this right here is the release schedule. There is quite a few people working on the GIMP project, and let's just have a look at it. I wish the developers the absolute best of luck. 
it has been a long time to get here, and it seems like they're certainly going to need it. Don't forget that on March 23rd, 2004, that's when GIMP 2 released. So by the time May rolls around, it will actually be more than 20 years since the release of GIMP 2. This is only a tentative timeline of events to happen before GIMP 3.0.0 is released. It is based on our current development pace. I am hopeful this is a feasible schedule while not putting too much pressure on contributors. I will update the various steps as we go and as we refine our progression. The one date that cannot be missed, November 5th, 2023, GIMP 2.10.36 release. They couldn't miss this one because this happened before the schedule was made. So, you know, it looks like we have a positive addition, but it's kind of a cheeky way to do it. Mid-December, December 17th, maybe, GIMP 3.0.0 Master Branch GUI Feature Freeze. Any of the GUI features which don't make this date will be pushed to after GIMP 3.0. It might be GIMP 3.0.2, so it's not necessarily very long after. I'm not including API features on purpose in the freeze, because I think an additional month for the last little tweaks may be worth it. So in some cases there might be a GUI feature that the API it calls isn't actually finalized yet, and if they included the GUI without doing that, you just have like a broken button, which is less than optimal. End December. I like that we're getting into the um, vagaries now. There's not even like an estimation of the date. It could be the final day, could be the final week. Who knows? GIMP 2.99.18, last dev release. Possibly neither all the code invasion nor API changes yet, but close. Code invasion, once again, being the space invasion stuff, the color management code, which is kind of like a big selling point they want to have for GIMP 3. This was the original end date for the release candidate, the basically pre-release version of the full release. That's probably very much not going to happen now. I am doubting we could have all roadmap items marked as done by then. In particular, API is getting in very good shape and I'm working hard on Space Invasion again, but there are still quite some things to review and update, so let's assume that December will still be a dev release. The last one. Hopefully. That would be nice, because then if it's the last dev release, now we can work on freezing things and getting it all, like, you know, bug-free for the final release. Mid-January, GIMP. 3.0.0 string freeze and API freeze. String freeze being no more modifying text. Any of the text, whether it be documentation, text in the application, that's done. It's staying as it is. Unless absolutely necessary, typos, language bugs, and code bugs which imply string changes, everything qualified as a bug fix basically, we should not change strings. I wish them luck. I hope everything is ready by then, and API freeze, hopefully all that is done. Now for the big one. End of February, GIMP 3.0.0 RC1. This may be followed potentially by one or two more RCs, hopefully not too many, depending on reports. This is when it's going to start going out to the early users. Users who are, you know, really involved in using GIMP and want to try it out. They've given themselves a couple of months of breathing room here. So, if it's in a good state, if the RC isn't rushed out, I would hope there is not much else to do here. But the second that things are in the hands of real users, as I was saying in the Plasma video, there is going to be new bugs that are discovered that nobody realized existed. March slash April, the window is getting wider. GIMP 2.10.38 release if needed, the last of the 2.10 series. I don't know why they would even bother with a 2.10 release at this point when 3.0, if everything is going well, would only be a month away. There's no extra context here on why they'd want to do that, so I'm not entirely clear why they would even bother. And then finally, before May 9th, this is the actual like hard end date, GIMP. 3.0.0 release. 
once again, let's target the Libre Graphics Meeting 2024. There is about five and a bit months to this date. If they are setting a schedule, I would hope that things are actually, you know, moving along and getting ready for that date. Considering what is left on the, you know, milestone tracker, I have my doubts that they're going to do it, but maybe a lot of the things left on here aren't major issues. Maybe there's some duplicates. I hope, I really, really do hope they actually make this date. So this right here is the event in question. It was a yearly event starting all the way back in 2006. It stopped running in 2021, and you can probably work out why. 2024 is going to be the first year it properly returns. It is by no means a massive event, but when we are talking about, you know, Libre graphics, this is kind of an important thing, and considering that it's now coming back, I can totally understand wanting to make this like a, you know, commemorative event, actually getting it done after all these years, lining up with this event as it finally comes back, like, that's a super exciting thing to do. But, and it's a big but, I feel like I'm getting deja vu. We said things might probably be done by the end of this year, and now we're saying it's probably going to be done by May. We'll see. We'll certainly see. As I've said multiple times throughout the video, I wish the developers the best of luck. I want them to do it. But I'm not holding out hope that it happens. If they happen to miss this date, I really hope the GIMP devs stop assigning dates to things. Because <laughs> at that point, there would be a number of instances to show that... They're not good at, you know, holding themselves to date. And that's understandable. A lot of the developers are volunteers. This isn't a project like GIMP, a project like Critter, a project like Gnome, where there is a lot of paid developers. So I'd rather just not know when it's going to happen, rather than be disappointed every time it doesn't happen. So I guess see you guys in five months when I hopefully make a video about GIMP 3.0.0. But it might be a video about how it's still not here yet. We'll have to wait and see. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you excited for GIMP 3 to finally come out? Do you think maybe, you know, we should just do GIMP 4? Because GTK 4 is the main version now. And by the time they do that, I reckon GTK 5 or 6 is probably going to be out. Let me know. If you liked the video, go like the video, and if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out Patreon, subscribe, so the pay linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I just want my multi-layer selection.